Hey, Coach Colin Castello with Shot Mechanics Basketball, and today we're going to go over the secret to Kyrie Irving's pull-up jumper. All right, so Kyrie had a phenomenal finals performance, especially in the last few games. Um, and one of the main reasons why is because he was killing guys with his pull-up jumper. There was a ton of times that guys like Klay Thompson were playing great defense on him, but because of a few keys, he was able to knock down shots even with great defense. So today I want to talk about why you can hit pull-up jumpers so easily, and I want to see how we can infuse it into your game as well. That way you can be hitting pull-ups just like Kyrie. So let's jump right into it. All right, so the first thing that helps Kyrie have a nasty pull-up is keeping his heels off of the ground. Now, I know we talk about this a lot, but it truly is one of the fastest ways to get a better jump shot. And basically, it's just the concept that as Kyrie's getting ready to pull up into his jumper, he's staying on the balls of his feet, firing, keeping his heels off the ground. This gives him a natural springboard so that all the momentum from his jump goes into his body and into the basketball. This is a major reason why his pull-up is so quick, because he's staying springy and can transfer that momentum easier. So work on springing off the balls of your feet and keeping your heels off the ground, and odds are that you'll probably see an instant increase in your pull-up speed and your accuracy. All right, next let's talk about his dominant leg drift. Now this is a mechanic that Kyrie uses anytime he's pulling up going to his right. A leg drift is just the concept of letting your dominant leg drift forward. That way it releases the tension in your shoulders and allows for a smoother shot. Kyrie uses his leg drift to get extra power and extra fluidity every time he's pulling up going to his strong hand. Now the reason for this is many times when you're driving to your dominant hand, it's tough to get your feet turned as you're getting ready to shoot. So you can use the leg drift to kind of account for that. Now a lot of players and coaches see a leg drift and they assume it's a bad shot because it looks like a fadeaway. And that's true, we don't really want you shooting shooting fadeaways. So what you do is just let your leg come through and keep your shoulders relaxed like it normally would on any jump shot. So take a look, if we pause the film right here, it looks like a normal jump shot as the ball reaches Kyrie's set point. Then as his arm extends for the release, simultaneously his leg starts coming forward and allows that shoulder tension to go away. And it's that perfect timing of the leg drift that allows those muscles to unlock in his shoulder and make for a smooth motion. So experiment with the leg drift and see if it helps your jumper, especially moving towards your dominant hand. You just might find that it's the secret key. All right, the next key to Kyrie's pull-up jumper is early targeting. Now, early targeting is basically just the concept of giving yourself as much time as possible to aim at the basket before you shoot the basketball. And what you'll notice is Kyrie Irving is a master at finding the rim early as he's moving into his motion and not finding it at the very last second. Many players don't realize just how important this early targeting is, and so if you can fix it, a lot of times you can increase your shooting percentage immediately. So in a pull-up situation, you really want to work on finding the rim or your target early as you're picking up your dribble to shoot the ball. If you do that, you will shoot a higher percentage on your pull-up jumpers, I guarantee it. Because like any hand-eye coordination sport, the longer you you can aim at your target, generally the more accurate you'll be. So work on finding your target early in your motion and see just how deadly your pull-up jumper can be. All right, if this video helped you out, hit that like button and then head to the comment section down below and let me know what sort of breakdown you want to see next. This is a channel for the people, by the people, and I run pretty much everything off of request, so leave it down below and hopefully we get to it. And if you're new to shot mechanics, you're going to want to do two things. Number one, hit that subscription button. So we put out videos every week and they're all going to get you better, I guarantee it. The second thing you're going to want to do is click the button above or the link in the description get a free copy of my number one scoring workout. This is a scoring workout that's going to change the way you think about uh, your training and it's probably going to increase your scoring average the very first time you use it. That's how powerful it is. So definitely want to check that out and it's free. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching and until next time, splash on.